Hello ladies and gentlemen, Hollowtide here, and today I want to talk about what we can expect from 343, from Halo, that's the TV show and the game, games, who knows, in the future, just kind of looking at 2024 as a whole, and it's something that I've been thinking a lot about, you know, like, as a content creator, you're like, oh, what's gonna be coming next, you know, what can I make videos on, I hope that there's content coming, and I think that the latter portion of this year has been really telling in what the future of Halo is going to look like. I think the string of successes that we've seen in 2023 will continue into 2024. That being said, I just want to say thank you for all the support recently. You you all have been killing it on the likes on the videos and really helping the channel grow. Remember that we're grinding away towards 15,000 subscribers, and I know 90% of you who watch the videos aren't subscribed, and it would make a massive difference to me if you just hit that sub button. I don't want to say this video is going to be all over the place, and it's definitely not unscripted, but I will be bouncing around some ideas, things that we can absolutely expect, in my opinion, to things that I would like to see. And going along with that, I would love to know what you want to see from Halo, not just the game, but from, you know, the TV show. Down in the comments below, I read all the comments. So yeah, let's get into it. The first thing I think that we can expect is for them to keep expanding on the PvE game mode Firefight, and I think this can be done in a multitude of ways, not just with, you know, like the different difficulty levels, but when you start to bring in things like new equipment, new guns, new vehicles, I really think that that will change the dynamic. I would like to see play spaces designed specifically for Firefight from the developer. What Forge is, is amazing, but you just don't quite hit that quality standard still with what the dev can make. So I would love to see, you know, like two Firefight made maps from 343 into the game. And then around that, you can design for like the Falcon and whatnot, which we've seen leaks and stuff. You know, the Falcon may be coming soon. Maybe that's why it's not in the game yet at all. But I think including aerial vehicles and stuff like that, transport vehicles would be a lot of fun. Something else I think that we can definitely see coming in 2024 is the composer for matchmaking. They've hinted that they're interested or working on it, and I think that will be a game changer for people. What I don't think we're going to see is a campaign DLC. I just don't think that that's happening. Any type of expansion is, I just don't see it coming to the game, which stinks. I do think that we'll see something about the certain affinity game mode that's been in development, whether it's a, a game mode or if it's going to turn into a new game, I don't know. But I can't imagine that we go another year without seeing it in like any type of way, like a trailer, anything. I do think that we're going to see more weapons come as well. Hopefully not just like UNSC stuff. I would love to see some Covenant, even though I guess the Covenant's not really a thing, or banished weapons come into the game. I would also like to see more vehicles that aren't just UNSC, that are more alien in nature. And with that, I would love to see, you know, coatings come for those weapons too. I, I definitely want to change like my stalker rifle. I would love to have a purple coating on it so it looks more like the Covenant. I think that stuff is sorely needed and people love to make their characters unique. And I definitely think that that will be incorporated. It's also a money-making endeavor, so I'm sure 343 is looking at it. Things that I would love to see come, but I don't think are, are pre- and post-game lobbies, and that includes with, like, voice chat and stuff. It would be amazing to actually talk to people in the game when you're not just playing the game. I do think we're going to get new game modes, things like VIP. I'm pretty sure we're going to get Assault and Griff Ball very soon. I really do think Griff Ball is a special game mode, and Assault is honestly one of my favorite. Going back to the weapons, I do think that we're going to see some type of new shotgun. There's been a lot of leaks here and there, but honestly, just give me the classic shotgun. I know a lot of people have asked for the SMG, so if you're one of those people, let me know in the comments. With the absence of a lot of new BTB maps and the focus being on like PvE and 4v4 in the last year, I really do think that we're going to see a resurgence of BTB in 2024, and I think the game desperately needs that. Squad battle is great, but there's just something special about BTB. A lot of people have asked me if I think there's going to be a PvEVP mode like Warzone or Warzone 2.0 or whatever you want to call it. I do not. I, I don't see that happening. 
I do think that we're going to see more stability and quality of life updates, maybe a new UI. But I really think that the game, especially on PC, needs a lot of work still. And with the content that we've gotten over the past year, I hope that that becomes more of a focus. I just made a video saying that 343 definitely needed to include this feature into Halo Infinite, and that was like Spartan companies slash clans. I think that it is really important. Uh, I'm not sure it's going to come in 2024, if ever. Moving on to the Halo TV show, I think, and you guys can clip this, quote it, take it to the grave, I think the Halo TV show is going to be at least a 6 out of 10, and I think it will be a 7 out of 10. And to give my, my ranking scale for the Halo TV show, the first season, I literally actually didn't finish it, and I would probably give it a 3 out of 10. Maybe a four, it just did not jive with me. Other things I think are gonna get, you know, new forge canvases and pallets and stuff like that. I don't see them stopping the uh, the hype train, I guess, or the, uh, not really hype train, but just the quality train of Halo Infinite in the foreseeable future. I think 2024 is just gonna keep building upon the success of 2023, and the game is only going to keep improving, but that's, in my opinion, what we can expect from Halo, from 343, going on in the future. That's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and I will catch you around the ring. Peace!